Suppose you've questioned why some intelligent home gadgets communicate with one another but not others. In that case, you should learn more about Matter, the newest wireless interoperability standard that has the potential to revolutionize the market. Come along as we walk you through the most innovative advancement in home accessories which is fascinating the world more than ever. Honestly, the majority of smart homes are still startlingly dumb, but new technology may change that. The first devices are now prepared to bring the Matter standard, a partnership between more than 300 companies, to actuality. So, what's cooking? Well, the lights, thermostats, sensors, and other smart home devices that are now available with Matter support were discussed during an event, hosted by the Connectivity Standards Alliance, or CSA, which is in charge of Matter to bring our world even more convenience. The Matter Protocol, which has been in development since 2019 and has the support of major corporations like Apple, Google, Amazon, Samsung, and Zigbee, has now made its official debut. Whereas the well-known figures who are behind it have begun certifying their goods, which certainly has an impact on consumers. But what exactly is Matter? Which companies are on board and what does it imply for you? Well, let's find out. The Connectivity Standards Alliance, an association of the major companies in the market, has introduced a new smart home interoperability standard called Matter. There are more than 170 firms engaged, with the most well-known names including Apple, Samsung, Amazon, Google, and the Zigbee Alliance. What was the purpose of what they did, then? To answer that, understand this. The market for smart homes has typically been a little chaotic. So, customers must ensure that dedicated hubs can connect to the appropriate peripheral devices and must choose which devices are best for their homes based on the assistance and ecosystem in which they are currently integrated. Right? Thus, it's the same as being locked into a music streaming platform due to your extensive catalog or being unable to switch between gaming consoles to play the same game. But because the smart home is a friendlier battleground than those places, these businesses have chosen to simplify the entire system for both producers and customers. Therefore, Matter aims to be an interoperability protocol with common data models that guarantees smart home devices can function in many ecosystems. As a result, an Amazon Echo Show display should theoretically be able to function with a Google Nest doorbell just as smoothly as it does with its Ring products, for instance. But one question that remains unanswered is, what will happen to those Zigbee, Z-Wave, and Thread that most of you already have at home? If you weren't aware, Zigbee and Z-Wave, the two technologies currently in vogue, connect every smart home gadget currently on the market. Now that Matter is taking off, this pair won't suddenly stop linking your devices, nor will a ton of other smaller radio protocols or Bluetooth. It is also quite possible that the Zigbee Alliance will continue to evolve alongside Matter and eventually integrate with it, considering its role in the invention of both Matter and the Zigbee wireless standard. On the other hand, the prospect of the Z future wave is more intriguing. And although it might not seem to be actively participating with Matter, it is still there. Similarly, another radio protocol called Thread, meanwhile, is preparing to certify some Matter-approved devices. That being said, there is yet another query that one seems to be stuck in, and we are sure you are one of those people too. So you ask, how are Google, Apple, Samsung, and Amazon involved? Actually, these major smart home businesses have taken the initiative before we even knew it, and they all have a significant impact on what this implies going forward. And even before Matter began, Google was one of the first to provide a detailed description of its plans. It was stated in a blog post published in the spring of 2021 that all Nest displays and speakers will be updated to allow them to manage devices that have been approved by Matter. Thus, any gadget with the Matter logo will be capable of being controlled by Google Assistant. Not to be outdone by Google though, but Amazon is first updating 17 Echo and other connected devices to work with Matter. A further 13 devices, including its Eero mesh network, will follow shortly after. Moving on, Apple has also been enthusiastic about Matter integration, stating that it will be supported in iOS starting with iOS 15, allowing you to control your Matter devices through the Home app. More versatility in how you set up your smart home and how neatly everything works together should result from the Home app's support for Matter accessories. Last but not least, Samsung has also been an enthusiastic participant and says that Matter support is being added to the hubs in its SmartThings platform. The standard will have the ability to control its smart TVs, cell phones, and other home gadgets. However, it still boils down to the same question, which is, what this means for you and your smart home. As previously discussed, how Matter should make choosing ecosystems and new devices simpler, but then what about your current gadgets? Are they receiving assistance? Given that IPv6 entails a large software burden for the majority of products, a fair number of devices, especially the older ones, appear unlikely to be upgraded individually. So, the hubs that these gadgets use to communicate are more likely to be upgraded or bridged to Matter, which is a blessing in disguise. For instance, Philips Hue and Wiz's parent business, Signify, is updating both new and existing Hue equipment to work with Matter via the Hue bridge. In Q1 2023, this will take the form of a software upgrade. So, how is Matter different than the rest? 
and what might the hype be about? Because most manufacturers have their apps and do not all link to the same platform, setting up smart home gadgets can be quite difficult. You can purchase light bulbs that, for instance, will function flawlessly with Alexa, but may not communicate with Google Assistant, SmartThings, or HomeKit. But by combining Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and thread connection under one roof, Matter is meant to address all this. This then implies that a Matter-certified device will be able to communicate with every platform that supports Matter. Thus, the software you wish to use to manage them is entirely up to you. Moving on, let's now talk about how credible Matter is. According to CSA, more than 190 gadgets have now received Matter certification. However, some of them have already been released, but the majority will do so soon. So if you have a Philips Hue Bridge, it's one of the first products to be certified by Matter. Additionally, the bridge and its associated bulbs will soon receive an update that makes them compatible with Matter. Thus, you'll soon have Matter support in your home if you have an Amazon Echo device. This year, according to Amazon though, support for Matter will be added to 17 Echo devices. First, only for Wi-Fi. Amazon will enable thread support for Matter on a few Echo models accordingly. And now, 20 more firms have joined the initiative since the Matter 1.0 standard was published, and that number may rise as more device kinds become accessible. Whereas talking about where Matter stands as of now, Matter's current focus seems to be on simpler smart home appliances like smart locks and light bulbs. That's right. The CSA has already stated that product categories, including cameras and robotic vacuums, will be available in the upcoming year. Tobin Richardson, the president of the CSA, went on record to reveal during the event that Matter will also be available for common motion sensors, air quality sensors, smoke and carbon monoxide detectors, and garage door controllers. Now, isn't that cool? While it's encouraging to see that the CSA was able to certify nearly 200 Matter devices right away, that still represents a very small portion of the whole smart home ecosystem. If you want to benefit though, keep an eye out for the Matter emblem because it will take some time for Matter certified devices to replace older or less expensive devices that don't speak Matter's language. The CSA also maintains a website that lists Matter certified products. However, it now only includes light bulbs and is deficient in many of the items listed during the event. With everything else out of the way now, it all boils down to the last wonder of today, and that is, should you be buying more gadgets for your home or should you wait? Well, we're currently in the uncomfortable phase before Matter's official launch. Although it has been announced, most items won't see it for several months to a year. Therefore, customers may be unsure of whether to move through with smart home purchases or postpone them. On the PocketLint podcast in January 2022, the CEO of the Connectivity Standards Alliance, Tobin Richardson, responded to a question by advising customers to keep constructing their smart homes. According to him, the important part is getting the experience you want today. I'm looking at a couple of new thermostats for our house right now. They aren't matter-enabled because it's not out just yet, but we know that they're Wi-Fi based, or the company has indicated that their products will be updated. Go out and get the one that makes sense for you. A lot of this will be worked out by the companies themselves in terms of software updates. Additionally, a large number of items from brands like Amazon, Philips Hue, and Nanoleaf have now been verified as supporting matter. The official matter-certified products website has more information. Honestly, it's all just very fascinating how the world is transforming with every passing second of the day. Because without innovations like Matter, it would be quite hard to transcend forward in today's time. So that's it for today, guys. I hope I covered everything. However, if we missed something, do let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more. See you next time.